Welcome to Howard Brown Online Barber College. Today we are doing the review questions for achieving learner results. Let's begin. The Americans with Disabilities Act protects those Americans who are physically or mentally impaired, such as those engaged in the illegal use of drugs, those with orthodontics, those who have substantial limitations in one or more major life activities, those needing eyeglasses. If you chose C, those who have substantial limitations in one or more major life activities, you are correct. The agency that prohibits discrimination on the basis of disability in both public and private sectors is FERPA, EPA, OSHA, ADA. If you chose D, ADA, you are correct. Title III of the American with Disabilities Act defines readily achievable as can be easily accomplished and carried out without much difficulty or expense, can be mastered by the individual without much difficulty or effort, the task the client performs is made under the same conditions without any alterations. All of the above. If you chose A, can be easily accomplished and carried out without much difficulty or expense, you are correct. Schools with people with disabilities must ensure to furnish auxiliary aids when necessary to ensure effective communication unless undue burden or fundamental alteration would result, eliminate unnecessary eligibility standards or rules that deny individuals with disabilities an equal opportunity to enjoy the goods and services of the place of accommodation, Provide reasonable modification in policies, practices, and procedures that deny equal access to individuals. All of the above. If you chose D, all of the above, you are correct. Modifications to institutions made in accordance with ADA could include permitting extended time for course completion, providing auxiliary aids or services, permitting the course to be completed in a more accessible location, or making alternative arrangements, D, all of the above. If you chose D, all of the above, you are correct. Proof of disability rests on the institution enrolling the student, the disabled person who desires to enroll in the post-secondary school, the ADA, the oversight agency. If you chose B, the disabled person who desires to enroll in the post-secondary school, you are correct. The individual accommodation plan for the disabled learner is the responsibility of the is it institution that enrolls the learner, a learner with a disability choosing the program, ADA, oversight agency. If you chose A, institution that enrolls the learner, you are correct. The accommodation plan might include textbooks on tape, seeing eye, canine, removal of a wall in the school, 
the raising of the ceiling. If you chose A, textbooks on tape, you are correct. In North America, the term learning disability refers to low intelligence levels, the absence of information on an intellectual level, a group of disorders that affect a broad range of academic and functional skills, the lack of mental activity, and a diminished capacity for learning. If you chose C, a group of disorders that affect a broad range of academic and functional skills, you are correct. The brain processes information in four ways. The information perceived through the senses, such as visual and auditory perception, is referred to as input, storage, integration, output. If you chose A, input, you are correct. Information comes from the brain either through words or through muscle activity, such as gesturing, writing, or drawing. This stage of information processing is referred to as input, integration, storage, output. If you chose D, output, you are correct. The stage in which perceived input is interpreted, categorized, placed in a sequence, or related to previous learning is called input, integration, storage, output. If you chose B, integration, you are correct. Answering a question on demand and putting thoughts into words before we speak is an information process called input, storage, integration, output. If you chose D, output, you are correct. Most memory difficulties occur in the area of short-term memory, which can make it difficult to learn new material without many more repetitions that, than usual. This problem affects information input, integration, storage, output. If you chose C, storage, you are correct. Dyslexia is a specific learning disability that hinders the learning of our students and is neurologically based, congenital, a developmental condition, all of the above. If you chose D, all of the above, you are correct. The cause of dyslexia has not been confirmed is the use of cell phones, is the administration of the polio vaccine, is the administration of the rubella vaccine. If you chose A has not been confirmed, you are correct. The dyslexic learner may act out by displaying characteristics that demonstrate effective listening, demonstrate carelessness, give the appearance of concentration, are, grace, are graceful. If you chose B, demonstrate carelessness, you are correct. It is encouraging to find that dyslexic learners have a good visual eye, are imaginative, are skillful with their hands, 
all of the above. If you chose D, all of the above, you are correct. When teaching the dyslexic learner, the master educator should review the learner's past academic file if available, understand the student's specific difficulties, gain an understanding of the student's learning style, all of the above. If you chose D, all of the above, you are correct. Master educators will assist the dyslexic learner with time management, organization, sequencing, all of the above. If you chose D, all of the above, you are correct. Various teaching strategies should be utilized with the dyslexic learner along with peer coaching, workbook activities, silent reading, textbook outlining. If you chose A, peer coaching, you are correct. Si since the dyslexic learner learns best through hands-on experience, demonstrations, experimentation, observation, and visual aids, educators should use straight outline form, copying of material from the overhead or board, reading aloud by students, multi-sensory methods for practicing and learning. If you chose D, multi-sensory methods for practicing and learning, you are correct. Master educators should remember that the dyslexic learner may have difficulty with figures, may be personally disorganized, has difficulty taking notes, all of the above. If you chose D, all of the above, you are correct. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder is defined by the American Academy of Pediatrics as a chronic neurological dysfunction within the central nervous system that is not related to gender, level of intelligence, or cultural environment, a rare nervous disorder that results from nerve damage caused by the body's own defenses, usually in response to an infection or other illness. This causes muscle weakness, loss of reflexes, and numbness or tingling in the arms, legs, face, and other parts of the body. A brain disorder that often interferes with a person's ability to communicate with and relate to others. Different areas of the brain fail to work together. A lower level of serotonin, a brain chemical in the winter. If you chose A, a chronic neurological dysfunction within the central nervous system that is not related to gender, level of intelligence, or cultural environment, you are correct. The cause of ADHD is still unknown, although some environmental factors affect it, including diet and certain medications, parenting techniques, in some cases, artificial color, and certain foods, all of the above. If you chose D, all of the above, you are correct. ADHD learners have problems staying on required tasks, especially if they are not interested in the subject matter. Such learners may be easily distracted, be forgetful in daily activities, not seem to listen when spoken to directly, all of the above.
If you chose D, all of the above, you are correct. When ADHD learners find it difficult to stay on task, often act before thinking, act as if driven by a motor, and talk excessively, they are displaying impuls impulsity, impulsivity, incon inconsistency, hyperactivity, attentiveness. If you chose C, hyperactivity, you are correct. There are a number of symptoms the educator can watch for to determine if a student has ADHD. Confused by letters, numbers, and words. Problem staying on required tasks, especially if they are not interested in the subject matter. Difficulty putting thoughts into words, transposes phrases. Has trouble writing or copying handwriting is illegible. If you chose B, problem staying on required tasks, especially if they are not interested in the subject matter, you are correct. Because the student with ADHD may be overwhelmed by too much stimulation, the master educator will encourage the learner to per persevere, help to build self-esteem, provide various teaching strategies to capture the attention of the learner, all of the above. If you chose D, all of the above, you are correct. Which of the following strategies may prove beneficial to ADHD learners? Provide learners a quiet area without distraction when testing or studying. Provide instructions both in writing and orally. Allow sufficient time for the learner to thoughtfully prepare answers. All of the above. If you chose D, all of the above, you are correct. Strategies that will support ADHD learners include handwrite tests and outlines for the learners, divide projects and assignments into page-long seg segments, give them room to move about and release excess energy, use outdated videos to interest learners, If you chose C, give them room to move about and release excess energy, you are correct. Other strategies for ADHD learners include develop a system of discrete cues that will alert learners in advance that you are going to call on them, give practice quizzes prior to the official test, consider alternative testing methods that will also demonstrate what the student has learned all of the above. If you chose D, all of the above, you are correct. We have learned that an effective second sensory motor activity, such as tapping a pencil or clicking a pen, helps the learner stay alert. The master educator can facilitate a more positive activity that does not distract other, such as using a clicker or timers, use of colored scented markers, use of stress balls, all of the above. If you chose D, all of the above, you are correct. It is beneficial for educators to recognize chronic behavior such as attention to detail, poor motivation and lack of interest, perfect attendance, good self-esteem. If you chose B, poor motivation and lack of interest, you are correct. 
Persons with substance abuse problems are protected by the ADA and should be referred to the appropriate professional source for help, given reasonable accommodations, subject to the same documentation standards as other students with disabilities, all of the above. If you chose D, all of the above, you are correct. To make the student more comfortable in the classroom, the master educator will talk down to the learner, evaluate the learner at every opportunity, encourage self-confidence, treat the adult learner as a child. If you chose C, encourage self-confidence, you are correct. Knowing the barriers to learning will prove to be an asset to the educator. Be on the alert for learner apprehension, rapid response, lack of learner motivation, all of the above. If you chose D, all of the above, you are correct. Students exhibiting anxiety in the classroom need the educator to be empathetic, be indifferent, be illogical, be inconsistent. If you chose A, be empathetic, you are correct. Apprehensive students will compare themselves, their knowledge, and their responses to the way they are perceived by everyone else in the classroom. Thus, the master educator will establish a competitive classroom, establish strong and frequent eye contact, have the learner speak before the group, all of the above. If you chose B, establish strong and frequent eye contact, you are correct. Master educators use memory cues known as game maps, mnemonics, puzzles, mind maps. If you chose C, puzzles, you are correct. Older learners may feel that they don't remember things as well as they did when they were younger. The master educator will aid in providing distractions, increasing noise activity, providing uncomfortable work areas, creating a safe learning environment. If you chose D, creating a safe learning environment, you are correct. Sometimes learners respond too quickly. To overcome, overcome this barrier to learning, the master educator will provide speed in practical skills, opportunities for self-pacing, no opportunity for learners to respond immediately, all of the above. If you chose D, all of the above, you are correct. When the learner simply does not want to be in class, the educator will incorporate icebreakers and motivational tactics, various texts, workbook activities, journal activities. If you chose A, icebreakers and motivational tactics, you are correct. Many barriers to education may be created by the behaviors and attitudes of the administrators, educators, students, clients.
If you chose B, educators, you are correct. Learners are placed in an active learning mood by using video, using computers, varying the teaching stimuli, using PowerPoint. If you chose C, varying the teaching stimuli, you are correct. A conducive environment for learning would include questions are encouraged, avoidance of eye contact, boring lectures, uncomfortable temperature. If you chose A, questions are encouraged, you are correct. By encouraging interpersonal relationships among learners, the master educator expands their circle of friends, association, perimeter, network. If you chose D, network, you are correct. To support the content of classes and show learners how information will work for them, talk about what you are trying to read to teach, use examples and illustrations, use the textbook, use the workbook. If you chose B, use examples and illustrations, you are correct. The master educator will take personal steps to become knowledgeable about all learning disabilities or disorders and come to the realization that learner behavior or performance may not meet the standards we have established for other learners. The learner may have difficulty sustaining attention to tasks due to poor motivation. The learner's poor performance is due to laziness or other internal characteristics. The learner blurts out because of rudeness. If you chose A, learner behavior or performance may not meet the standards we have established for other learners, you are correct. When working with a dyslexic learner, the master educator may find there is inadequate storage of knowledge, poor memory skills, there may be inadequate vocabulary, all of the above. If you chose D, all of the above, you are correct. This concludes this review. If you'd like more classes that Howard Brown online barber college have available, please visit our website at howardbrownonline.com. Remember that barbering starts in the book. Have a great day.